Welcome everyone. We are today in South Central Pennsylvania. It's uh, wonderful to be here. There is a lot of snow. And uh, since we are in the middle of nowhere, I was trying to find something fun and exciting. And I found this Dutch farm store that got me so excited. We went yesterday to grab some apple pie and oh my god, it was the best apple pie I've had in a very long time. And I decided to go back this morning uh, since we're driving out of this area. And I grabbed a bunch of snacks and goodies and I'm excited to try them. And since we have probably a two hour drive to get to where we're going, I thought I'm going to make this video and share with you the snacks and sh try them. Like some of these things I'm trying for the first time and maybe share with you my impression. I thought that you'll find it to be a bit fun. So Alex is starting first with his uh, Reuben sandwich? Reuben! Oh my god, it smells really good. We're gonna ask him if it's any better than the normal Reuben sandwich he gets. This is pretty good. Is it? Yep. Nice, moist, good sauerkraut. Nice Thousand Island. Oh, baby. And the bread is good too. Is it Not just... as thick of a piece of bread as I'm used to in some. A little wet in the middle because of the meat, but it's tasty. Corned beef, sauerkraut, Thousand Island dressing, and sometimes people will sprinkle a couple little bits of other little things in there, but... Mmm. Mm -hmm. Delicious. Yes. All while driving. <laughs> pork in these sandwiches. No way. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> I don't eat pork. Oh my god, this is so tasty. I usually like having like vegetables in, in the sandwich, but Reuben's are great. I like Especially a lot of this the, one. I like a lot of the Germanic palate stuff though. Like I like sauerkraut. Yeah. I hope this works. They have the big toothpicks holding them down with the little colored thing on top. Hold the sandwich quick. I need to... a napkin. <laughs> Balance it out. Yeah, it's really delicious. It looks really good. Whoop, hello there, Kevin Doodle Doo. Mmm. So good. finish all of it because otherwise I'm not gonna be able to try the rest of the snacks. Alex introduced me to black cherry soda from Jersey Mike's and I really love it but this one he grabbed for himself. I can open it for you. Want me to open it for you? You can or I can do it. The last thing you want is it to like explode. I don't want it to explode. Yeah. I'm ready. I just want to have a sip. Okay, here we go. Oh it's everywhere! Oh, the calamity! Hey, ah. okay, safe. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> My review will be postponed until Habiba also. Alright, I'm gonna try. Oh, yummy! This is a little bit sweeter than the one we get from Jersey Mike's and um, it's not as... Uh, Carbonate carbonated exactly yeah and i agree it's a little bit cherry like syrup right and it's also not as carbonated i agree with both of those statements this is the one thing that i'm excited to try the most i never had it before these are red beet eggs i don't really know how they are made they're probably pickled in some sort of red beet juice i don't know but i'm gonna give it a try are you gonna try one too Ooh, if you put the camera on me, I guess I'll have to, huh? <laughs> Do it for the fan, for the YouTube fan. All right. Mm. There it is. Beep, 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 beep. It's even got some slices of beets. Hmm. Yeah. It is pickled, for sure. All right, here we go. Oh my God, they look so red. Hmm. 
This is probably my first time trying pickled eggs. Hmm. Not bad. I think I probably just like boiled eggs, not pickled. <laughs> Smells. But I like the pieces of the uh, beets here. I'll have a, I'll have a bit. Ready? Hey, you hit it. Oh, yeah. Not bad. You only really get the beet flavor on the outside. True. You can see how it doesn't soak all the way through, but it does, like, it's noticeable. I'm going to try apple snits for the first time. Have you had them before? Nope, they're not ho-hos or Swiss rolls. And it looks like they're just like dried apples with a bit of moist in them still. I have made dried apples in the past with my dehydrator, but mine were a little bit too crispy. Oops, I just dropped one. All right, let's try this. Mm. We should bust out the dehydrator more though. Whenever we've used it, we've really enjoyed and learned True. I made dehydrated bananas, I made apples, mangoes, I think that's about it. These are good. Not a hearsay? No. Okay. I wonder if they add anything to, to the apples before drying them. The ingredients are saying just dry the apples, but I know usually it would add some lemon juice so that they, they don't go dark. Can I have a bite? Sure. Wow, that's really like soft. Yeah. Oh, two bites. <laughs> it's definitely softer than the ones I made before. What? Mm. Wow, really soft though. It's like they... Tasty though. I wonder how thick of a piece of apple you start with and how long it takes for you to dehydrate it to get it to the right size and chewiness because that's really... Yeah. It's soft and flexible. It's soft it's and uh, you you can taste the the lemon. Have you know like cinnamon or something on it too. Wow. <laughs> okay. Alex literally picked every flavor that they had in the store of these whoopie pies. I'm not familiar with whoopie pies. <laughs> You can tell because she says it all weird, like she's like whoopie, whoopie. like whoopie Goldberg. <laughs> whoopie pie. <laughs> Whoopsie, I made a pie. Oh, yesterday I was like trying to see whoopie and I started with P and then he he thinks that I'm call, calling it poopy pie. <laughs> yeah, yeah, my sweet little poopy pie. No, but they are. That's what Moxie does on the ground next to your feet. Yeah, that's the dog. <laughs> oh my God, like the floor is whoopie pie. <laughs> okay, okay, so back back to the topic. What are the whoopie pies? Mister. Oh, am I on the spot here? Yeah, what's what's the whoopie pie? Ah, my best way of describing it, if you don't know, it's like a huge Oreo made of like real pastry like bread and real like uh, like patisserie sort of whipped cream stuff or cream filling. It's not like an Oreo at all, but it's huge in that regard that it's a sandwich with white cream in the middle and uh, flavored dough on the outside. We've got plenty of flavors here. Uh, we've got the shoe fly, we've got the oatmeal, we've got the Oreo looking one, and then the salted caramel. Obviously, we're not going to try all of them because I don't want to de develop diabetes in a day. Uh, so... I don't mind, I'll roll the dice. Okay, which one do you want to try? So I will say, the ones with the cookies though aren't really the original ones. They're tasty snacks and such, but uh, they're not the originals. But the white cream for me is traditional. So I think we're going to stick with probably this chocolate one here. Uh, we might skip on the salted caramel. We could do the pumpkin one, and I think the shoe fly pie also looks good. Okay. Wait, did you have the pumpkin one, or is the pumpkin? I don't. One I don't have the pumpkin one. It's in the bag. Let's try this one. Let's give this one a try. Yeah, yeah. It tastes familiar. 
like a giant Swiss cake. Mm. Except it's not rolled up. Very good, but it's way too sweet for me. Honestly. Not too sweet for me. I'll, uh, I'll right. jump on a grenade for you. Have it. They call them whoopie pies also because when you eat them, you go, whoopie! <laughs> I have nice clothes on today, too. Yeah, it's like a Swiss cake roll. Like a zebra cake or one of those pastries you'll get for your kids. I'm certainly stuffing myself with way too much food. So I've got, this is not Dutch or anything, but just a snack. Dark chocolate almond bark. I love these usually, that's my favorite. Almond with chocolate. Chocolate, liquor, almonds. Licorice. Just liquor. Oh, so you got you're drinking booze. You're eating booze now. Oops. Blur that part out. Almonds, cacao butter, milk fats, artificial flavors, blah 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 blah. Love it. I'm sure you do. You drunk? You want some? gonna be able to have lunch or dinner actually I'm honestly not a big fan of uh, sweets in general like I don't really crave a lot of sweet stuff like cake or cookies and uh, not even chocolates I like dark chocolate but usually I would just take it when we're hiking I think it's fine but I love cheese mmm I grabbed a block of Swiss cheese from the store. Pasteurized parts, skim milk, cheese culture, salt enzymes, salt enzymes, salt enzymes, vitamin A. Yeah, tasty. I'm learning with time is cheese is definitely my, my weakness. Oh, it's smiling now. No reason. Just I saw a funny joke on a billboard. Do you want a piece of cheese? No. Nope. <laughs> I was like, no, leave me alone. <laughs> I was feeding him the whole the whole way. Mmm. Oh but my god. I see the camera puts on 10 pounds, and this is this is what they mean. This cheese is so good. So that was that. I have one more piece of chocolate and then a few more oranges that look really really tasty but I don't want to just keep stuffing myself and yeah so that's it for this short video I thought that it would be fun to share it with you guys and uh, if you enjoyed it thumbs up subscribe and I will see you soon on a new adventure and if you didn't like it thumbs up subscribe <laughs> and see you soon on a new adventure <laughs>